What is a franchise consultant and why are their services free? <laughs> if they get paid by the franchisor, do they really have your best interest in mind? And how do you select the right franchise business? Stick with me for the next couple of minutes. I'm happy to answer all of these questions in full transparency. So what is a franchise consultant? Well, a franchise consultant is someone who can guide you through the franchise buying process. When I consider my role with my candidates, my job is to first help my candidates identify what kind of franchise would be the right business for them based on looking at their background, their interests, their skills, their finances, and their goals. So I'm looking at my candidates personally, professionally, and financially. I take them through a process that enables me to learn all the information I need in order to build a model of them and their ideal franchise business. Once I have this information, then I start my research to try to figure out among the relationships that I have in franchising and the knowledge that I have of what opportunities are up and coming and which ones are out there based on the risk tolerance characteristics that we've identified with the candidate, I then bring back to the candidate my top three to five options Again, match to them professionally, personally, and financially. Before I present my top three to five options, I'm going to ask the franchisor if the territory where this candidate lives is available, because I certainly don't want to bring an opportunity to someone that isn't even available in their backyard. So once I've mapped out my top three to five options and I make a presentation to my candidates, then we begin what I call the dating process. And it begins with a blind date. I tell all of my candidates, you can't say no, you just gotta go. They have to go with an open mind and an open heart to go meet my franchisor friends and see among the group how does it feel to be talking to franchisors, to be hearing about businesses that they know nothing about? And in some cases, these are businesses that come totally from left field that they never expected me to bring to them. So once we make it through the blind date round and they come back with some feedback, in week one of the coaching process, I begin coaching them on how to actually date a franchisor leading to a marriage. So this whole opportunity of exploring a franchise to the point where you can say yes to the opportunity, I equate to a courtship leading to a marriage, but it's the franchisor's business to award to the candidate based on this mutual evaluation process. So let me say that again. It's the franchisor's business to award before it's your business to buy. So what does that imply? It implies that franchisors are looking for candidates with certain qualities before they just award anybody a franchise. And while you're doing your due diligence to figure out among the opportunities that I've presented to you, which one feels like the right culture and which one has the right unit economics and which opportunity makes the most sense for you and your lifestyle and goals, the franchisor is also doing that kind of evaluation on you. This whole process of dating a franchisor leading to this hopefully this marriage opportunity takes about one to two months. During the back-end coaching process, I work with my candidates to teach them about the franchise disclosure document. I help them with financial resources if they're looking for any kind of funding, like a 401k rollover, or if they're looking for an SBA loan, or any other type of funding. And I'm here to coach, guide, support, cheer. Sometimes I joke with my candidates that when people ask me, you know, what do I do for a living? I'll say, well, I'm a marriage counselor. I'm a fear coach. I'm whatever my candidates need me to be on their path of exploring a franchise, trying to figure out if owning a business is right for them. And I do all of this for free but I don't work for free. <laughs> I get paid by the franchisors. 
So instead of franchisors going out to trade shows, you know, flying all over the country, setting up trade show booths and never really knowing the quantity or the quality of the people that might walk through an exhibit hall on a weekend. And instead of franchisors advertising all over the internet, again, not being able to control the quality or the quantity of the people that may respond to their franchise ads, they can come to consultant groups like Fran Choice and say, listen, we're looking for people with these skills who have this much money, who live in these markets. If you find them and bring them to us, we like them and award them a franchise, we'll pay you a fee. So my services are free for you because I get paid by the franchisor really to do all their dirty work. (laughs) I'm doing all the prospecting. I'm preparing my candidates mentally, financially, and physically for what's about to happen. I'm setting expectations. And this enables my candidates to come to the process that much more prepared. And on the flip side, this makes the franchisor roll out the red carpet for a Kim Daly candidate because they know how much time and energy you've already given to me in getting to this point where now you're ready to be talking to them. Okay, so inevitably, the next question that comes up is, if I work with you, Kim, am I limited to a certain number of franchisors? And the answer is yes and no. So always, it's your investigation. I am here to help you make the right decision for you. So if there's an opportunity out there that you're in love with that I know nothing about, you can bring it to the table and we will hold that franchisor to the same standard that we hold any other franchisor that I bring to you. Then you might say, well, then how would you get paid in that scenario? Well, I wouldn't. And that's perfectly fine. But what I'm also going to ask you to do is keep an open mind and let me bring to you what I believe are the A plus franchisors. So I've been doing this for 20 years. I know who's who and what's what. Ultimately, when you invest in a franchise, you are buying a partnership. Partnerships, relationships are what keep doors open. Cultures of abundance, leadership. That's what will make you feel like a successful business owner more than investing in a widget that you think your community needs or that you're in love with. So ultimately, when I bring opportunities to my candidates, I'm bringing them relationships that I have. I'm extending these relationships of companies that I know have strong cultures, have great leadership, have good toolboxes, have happy validation from existing owners. And really, that's my job as your franchise consultant. Here's what my great friend Lance had to say about the value of working with an experienced franchise consultant. Hey Kim, I just wanna thank you so much for the placement you made with us with Sherry Beasley. What a fantastic story. I remember working with her in the process and, you know, at the end, how scared she was to, to step into this, especially given the timing, you know, it's pretty much in the, in the middle of pandemic and, but she made the leap of faith and she jumped off the diving board and wow, what a success story. You know, she's turned out to be one of our top performing franchisees at, at, our, at our recent conference. You know, she, she won multiple awards. Uh, she opened a couple studios up in, in, in 2020 and in COVID and it's uh, close to signing her third lease. So we are so uh, grateful for the placement and, and what a great partner she's been for us. People will often ask me if I'm paid by the franchisor, if I really have their best interest at heart. And my answer to that is always the same. If you ever feel like I am not working in your best interest, you absolutely can fire me. Now, for the record, in 19 years of franchise consulting, I've never been fired. (laughs) But since you are not my client, you're not paying me any money, we do not have a contractual relationship, my job in this process is to provide advice and guidance. My job is not to give you the answers. My job is to be the resource and teach you where to find the answers to the questions that you have.
So the job of a really good franchise consultant, we're not brokers. We don't have a license to sell a business. So we really shouldn't be giving any specific information about opportunities. We're here to be your guide. We're here to be your resource. We're here to be your cheerleader. We're here to teach you the process so that you can feel competent in the due diligence that you've done and therefore confident in your final answer, whether that answer is yes or no. So now that we've covered why a franchise consultant is so valuable to you, you may be wondering, how do I select the right one? Selecting the right franchise consultant, it's like choosing a personal trainer, right? There are varying levels of backgrounds, knowledge, personalities. Some people are more motivating. Some people are more serious. So the main thing is you want to find somebody that you connect with. If you're going to be spending multiple hours with this person, you want to find somebody that you enjoy. You want to find somebody that you can learn from. You want to find somebody who inspires you to want to reach your goals. Well, the same is going to be true in selecting the right franchise consultant for you. The process is the same. Instead of talking about fitness, we're talking about franchising and owning a business, right? So you want to find somebody that has the experience that you feel resonates with you. So our services are free, but a good franchise consultant's advice should be priceless to you. If you're ready for a free consultation, I'd be honored to try and help you. Please leave a message in the comments below or feel free to email me today.